The beginning of a presentation is vitally important. So why do people behave like this? Hello everyone! This here is my uh, uh, presentation. Fear not though, because in this video you will learn three ways how to give you a head start in your next presentation. Here we go. Now before I give you the three strategies, I want to point out one more thing that I've seen so many of my clients do wrong, and that is that they walk in and they talk and they pace and they're pacing their voices too fast and they don't pause. All of this indicates that they feel nervous, that they don't feel confident, that they're not the one owning the room. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Instead, do what Jordan Belford or Leonardo DiCaprio of the Wolf, Wolf, there's a lot of names. Yeah. Be inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio, who did the role of Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street, where he walks in, grabs attention, pauses, and absolutely owns the room. Sell me this pen. Now, did you notice what he did at the end? That is a brilliant way to start your presentation. You grab attention by challenging your audience to do a task to answer a question. I love doing this in my keynotes. I could ask someone, how many stories have you told today? More than five, raise your hand. More than 10, raise your hand. And then I say, well, all of you are incorrect. And this is why. Boom, challenge. Another version, it's where the speaker goes, cross your arms. And they go like this. And they go, why didn't you cross your arms like this? Cross your hands. Did your thumbs go over or under? Challenge them, give them tasks, give them something that they need to think about, that they need to do. Boom, you break the pattern. And this is core because they're somewhere else. They're in their mobile phone, they're in their last meeting. They're in a different thought. Grabbing attention, breaking the pattern is core, core to a great start. A second way to start your presentation is to say how much you appreciate the people who are there. How grateful I am that you are here. Being authentic, showing vulnerability, caring, all of these can produce the neurotransmitter oxytocin. Well, you know, I, I dig science if you see my previous videos. So oxytocin is a neuropeptide released into the brain which allows us to connect with people, to trust people. Your best friends, you have most oxytocin release with. Strangers, not so much. And one of my absolute idols is the legendary Mr. Rogers and the way that he begins his acceptance speech. So many people have helped me to come to this night. Some of you are here, some are far away, some are even in heaven. Would you just take along with me, 10 seconds to think of the people who have helped you become who you are. All right, as my third tip to you, <laughs> this is quite embarrassing, but um, I just want to share with you. I had a 90 minute presentation and the worst thing possible happened to me in this case. Oh, it's a nightmare. Right, imagine this. I'm doing a 45 minute section first, and then there's a break. Absolutely killing it. The first 45 minutes, brilliant. The break, I go to the toilet. I come back for the next 45 minutes. And when I walk into the room, people are looking at me entirely differently. Giggling, I cannot comprehend. They, they are a changed audience from absolute respect to none or very little. I'm like, what is going on? And yes, you guessed it. My tip for you is to turn off your microphone when you go to the toilet in the break. Oh my God, that was so embarrassing. I wanted to die. What is this? This is storytelling. This is my third tip, storytelling. Uh, why is storytelling my favorite tip? Why is it so powerful? Because your brain perceives your future, your past, your reality, as stories. It doesn't perceive them as tables, as data, as chart. That is why when I tell you a story, it is so easily relatable and it's, it creates an emotion. So I want to show you an example of a master in the art of storytelling. And then I'll give you a couple of tips on how you can level up your storytelling skills. Here we go. But friends, why is this story unbelievable? 
June 2018, I fly to India to attend the wedding of my friend Brandon and his fiance, Devika. Brandon and family are white, Devika and family are Indian. And I am the only black man there. Yeah, that was brilliant. And I've got so many tips I could give you on storytelling. So, so, so many. Number one is dopamine. Dopamine is the anticipation of reward. And all movies, all TV shows work the same way. They push, they push the plot of the TV show again and again and again and again. Like Lord of the Rings, one ring, one volcano, three movies kept pushing the plot, boom, boom, boom. And I did that as well with the story I did. Go back, rewind the YouTube video and look at my toilet story. And you'll see that I, I built anticipation and I built dopamine for you to want, to desire, to listen to that entire story. So that's number one, learn to do that. Number two is when I ask people, how many stories have you got like in your arsenal? They go like maybe 10, 20, maybe 25. And I go, no. And they go, yes. And I go, no. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I can promise you that you have a thousand stories. You just don't know them. You know them when they come into the right context, but at the moment you wouldn't be able to write them down. So my tip to you is this. Write down all the stories that you tell by the coffee machine, with friends, at the pub, wherever. As soon as a story pops out, 10, 30, 60 seconds long, write down the title of it in an app. This will build your library of stories. And that will give you the opportunity to pick stories into your presentations. And that is crazy powerful. The easiest win when it comes to the beginning of a presentation is simply to do it differently than everybody else. I've got a favorite, Eddie is a stand-up comedian. You know, the way he starts, the way he delivers, it's mind-blowing. Go check him out, it's so inspiring. I had a client recently, Oracle, and they all produced videos and presentations with the challenge of doing them differently. One guy danced and you know, like grabbed attention and had thousands talking about him and about his presentation because the entire presentation was then hooked into dancing and made that a concept. Breaking the pattern will give you their attention and now you can give them the message. But even if you nail the beginning and even if that is the most important part, you've still got 95% left of your presentation. So let's learn that together as well in this video. I can't do that. <laughs>